Hi Capricorn, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back to Yance's Universe. It's me, Yance. Capricorn, this is going to be your general love reading, your general 18 plus love reading for August 1st through the 7th. I'm going to pull um, messages from the tarot. I'm going to do some clarification and then I'll jump into your 18 plus portion. Remember this, these messages are general. They may not resonate with every Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node, South Node, anyone with Capricorn in their chart and or Crosswatcher. So that means this could be happening to you, Capricorn, or you could be doing this to your Crosswatcher. Or this is just something that may be coming up for you, has already happened to you, or will happen. Okay? So, you can follow me on all my social media, book a personal reading with me. I'm open for personal readings, like I said. Donate to our channel, you guys, or you can just donate a love offering for me. Because my birthday is on the 8th, August 8th. I am a Leo. I'm actually a Capricorn Moon as well. And um, remember that general. So let's jump into it, guys. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for... I almost said Taurus. I'm sorry. You could be dealing with the Taurus. I have Taurus in your chart. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to pull one message for you, one message for your person and or situation. And then one last message for advice or just the vibe could be dealing with a virgo i saw the hermit all right give me one message for capricorn the wheel of fortune okay fate so you want some change positive change you want things to start going in your favor or you've decided to move or travel move forward in your life finally be i'm seeing you want to be productive seeing the fruits of your labor you want to travel go where you haven't gone before so with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm seeing good karma, okay, for your person and or situation. The King of Wands, okay, action. Yeah, you want, ooh. Sorry, you guys. You want more action, all right? So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries Leo, all right? We got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be with, in regard to the family, husband and or wife, but there could have been some type of bickering or arguing with the five of wands. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. But I'm seeing with the wheel of fortune, it looks good for you, Capricorn. It does. It, it looks good. Positive change. So if you've been feeling stuck, that's about to change. If you've been needing more money, you're about to get the money. If you've been needing um, some answers, you're about to get answers. Okay? And these answers are coming from this king of wands an advisor or your boss or some type of person or entity giving you advice giving you money or helping you move forward if no one is helping you move forward it's already it's just happening just because the universe ordained it you're moving on you're break you're, you're, you're experiencing a breakthrough with the wheel of fortune and then the king of wands i'm seeing this per this person is handsome this person is sexy this person is beautiful and they take action they're they <clears throat> they are charismatic and goal oriented and it's going to lead to the ten of cups a lot of happiness and a lot of stability so i'm seeing you, you're making sure the family is good and you're reaping the benefits you're reaping the rewards you're doing all of this for your stability or for your family and you're reaping the rewards you're reaping the benefits could be dealing with <clears throat> excuse me my throat is so fucking dry could be dealing with an aries leo sag sun moon rising or venus cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising or venus clarify the will of fortune i want to see uh what this is on a sexual standpoint so i'm using my tarot sex magic clarify the will of fortune for capricorn all right the knight of swords so communication and travel, all right? But I'm seeing you are going to be able to be in control. <coughs> if you, I'm so sorry, y'all. If you ever felt like you were out of control or just didn't have a grasp on things or felt confused, because I'm, I'm getting a sense that you were just confused about some things, didn't know what to say, didn't know where to go, didn't know how to act or some things like that all of that is changing okay you're going to be a person of authority 
But I'm almost getting a sense of inferiority. You won't be feeling inferior anymore. That's changing as well. Because the people don't take the Knight of Swords seriously until you're like, get on your knees, bitch. <laughs> and you're not saying that literally. You could be saying that in the bedroom, but shit, you're not saying that literally in every other aspect of your life. Okay, clarify the King of Wands for Capricorn's person or situation. Okay. The Knight of Chalices. Okay, so you want someone who's not only action-oriented, but backs it up as well with emotions. Okay? Knight of Chalices, you want to date. You want to feel loved. Not only are they doing this, but from them doing this, I feel the love. I feel adored. I feel respected. I feel valued. So... This person could have fire and water in their chart. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Ter clar terrify? Where the hell I get terrified? Someone's terrified? You terrified someone. Someone's terrified? Okay, sorry. Okay, clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn. Queen of Wands, the Hangman. So we have the King and the Queen of Wands with the Hangman. So I'm I'm getting more fire and water. So this is a perfect match. I don't know what the holdup is because sometimes the Hangman can be a holdup. You're needing to look at something from a different perspective. But also this Hangman is he's not letting her go. You see her hands are tied. And then look, he's not letting her go. Someone wants to dominate the other person. Very dominant. So maybe this is you, Capricorn, now taking back control of your life. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Things are changing. Some things will never be the same. Six of Swords, moving forward. More movement. So you could be traveling to a new location. You could be moving into a new position in your job. Maybe you were going through rigorous training to become a manager or some shit like that. Um, maybe you're going through rigorous training to be a successor, or this is just you moving to a new home. This could be you going through training. I'm getting counseling as well. So I don't know if someone was afraid of something and now they're going through counseling for it. You're getting back control. So you could have fell in love with your counselor, your boss. You could have fell in love with someone that you were training. So you're the manager and you fell in love with your protege or something. But you two are on the same level, king and queen of wands. So in all, I'm seeing you meet your match, Capricorn. This you must you might have fire in your chart, Capricorn, because this person has fire in their chart as well. And this person, but this person knows how to push your buttons. I feel like this person knows how to get you all topsy turvy. They know how to get you all flipped upside down. Okay. Sexually, too. Um. <laughs> All right. So, if you were not feeling in control, that's changed. The Wheel of Fortune, good favor, is on your side. I'm seeing you meet your match, your soulmate, the King and Queen of Wands. So, this could be a business partner. I'm not seeing any pentacles, though, Capricorn. So, that you're focusing on your love life and your emotional life now. Okay? And you want everything to be good and healthy. And it is, Ten of Cups, complete happiness. So everything is good. Life's good. Okay? All right, moving on to your freak nasty portion. Moving on. Thank you for giving me a message for Capricorn. I hope I've been saying Capricorn and not Taurus. Keep hearing Taurus. Ugh, all right. Give me a message for Capricorn. Show me what's going on for Capricorn. For freak nasties. Please. Stomach kisses. So you love kissing someone's stomach. Someone loves kissing your stomach. Or you love when someone kisses your stomach. I love stomach kisses too. Lord have mercy. I feel like butterfly kisses. Okay. Some hey, y'all getting the back shots. April. Where I get April from? 
Someone's name is April. Okay, August 1st through the 7th, back shots are a must. It's a necessity. It's happening. All right? So y'all getting y'all stomach kissed and y'all getting these back shots. So y'all are giving the back shots. My mouth waters when I think about you when I or when I think about us. When I think about us in the bed, on the floor, on the couch, in the bathroom, in the shower, wherever, my mouth waters. Every time. That's a, yeah, that's a full meal, all right? <laughs> I miss our sex. So someone that you're not sleeping with or not in contact with definitely misses y'all sex, okay? And they're thinking about you. And every time they think about you, they think about the back shots. And their mouth start watering like, ooh, I come fast when you choke me. Yeah, they love that shit. They love getting choked. When you, ooh, y'all nasty than a bitch. <laughs> y'all nasty than a bitch. I come fast when you choke me. I'm just reading cards. Let me find out. Let me find out. Look at me when you look at me when I'm beating it up. So when I'm beating it up and choking you and you coming fast, look at me while while the whole time spent. Look at me when I'm beating it up. You thought this was a game? <laughs> I'm pussy whipped. Definitely. I'm pussy whipped. So don't don't let them act all don't let them try to act all hard and shit. Don't don't act hard. I know you pussy whipped or cross watch your nose. Taurus is why well, I keep saying Taurus. It's Capricorn. Look, we know you pussy whipped Capricorn. All right, somebody is flexible. I'm hearing Aquarius. Flexible Scorpio. All right. I get harder, I get wet when I think about our sex. And my mouth waters when I think about our sex. It turns me on and I cannot control myself when I think about our sex. My mouth starts watering, okay? I get hard or I get wet or something. Every time I think about you and every time I think about our sex. I go crazy, insane in the membrane. It ha every time. All right, somebody tempts somebody on purpose. Somebody has a starburst pussy. Okay, it's beautiful. Wet, pink, it's starburst. Okay, juicy. I hear juicy fruit. Mm, mm. Juicy. <laughs> I love the way you taste. What I say? Okay. <laughs> juicy fruit. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I still remember our first time. Do you remember the time when we fell in? This is why I keep saying Taurus. Y'all can't y'all can't tell me I'm crazy, please. There's a Taurus involved. Someone has Taurus in their chart, okay? Lord have mercy. Or maybe Taurus season. Give me some more for Capricorn. I'm toxic. Ooh. Who is this? Ooh, I love that toxic love. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I tempt you on purpose. Yes, they are toxic. Yes. Yes, they are. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Leo, Gemini. Oh, my gosh. Oral sex. I'm telling you, their mouth get wet. Let them use. Okay, their mouth is wet. Okay, they mouth is wet. It say, I'm not letting you leave me again. I miss it. They said, I miss our sex. They said it. They said they miss our sex if they ever, 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 ever get their hands on you again. We saw the king and queen of wands. If they ever get their hands on you again, mm, they not letting you leave. They not letting you leave again. So you better have an escape route ready. <laughs> this is all the messages i have for you capricorn thank you guys again for coming back you can book with me book a reading with me donate to the channel like share subscribe leave me a comment and um stay posted for your next reading you guys be safe and i love y'all bye, -bye.